Amarang. From this parched earth, the nation of Nabath Arang once rose. When I journeyed here, long ago, I spoke with a sun-weathered elder. He told me Amarang meant majestic land in the language of his people. And so it might still be, were it not for the Light's unrelenting onslaught. Oh. I like areas like this. I do too. The desert. Um, Arang. The desert city. They're always cool. Supercast. This music is great. I need to. Oh, I need to turn up my voices again. Yeah, turn mine up too. Don't be surprised when the temperature drops at night. Though the sky is still bright, of course, but it gets brisk enough to make you shiver. Now the Exarch's letter said I was to take you to the inn at Journey's Head, which is where this Alice I friend of yours is staying. That's a fair uh, old distance. So I propose we make a stop in Mordsuk to break up the trek, allowing me to attend to some business and you to enjoy the local hospitality. Sound good? Good. All right, you lot, I'm off, and I'd better not see the goods covered in sand when I get back. Fair enough. Oh, now we can mount up. Right, we head southwest straight as an arrow. So we're doing Alize first. Yeah, at least until we get this city. Well, wow, well, you know, we're here, when in Rome. Might also, look at well. this place. Desert armadillos. <laughs> Giga tender. I love this music. What the Giga heck? tender. Look at his face. Look at those legs, dude. These squats. Oh. No, I don't want to fight you. This oh, is cool. Geez. We're in the first. First world. There's an ethercrone over there. Oh crap. Please leave me alone, Giga Tender. I'm gonna go grab these. Feast your eyes on that castle, that's what he said. On the castle? Mm. Well, it's part of the quest. Admire the view. You gotta get this first. Don't care, didn't ask. Alright, now we can do that. I love the Karen. You know, I really should just invite you to a group. Well, no. Until well, how, how much of a bet this is going to be instance? <laughs> surveying. Oh, wow. That is really cool looking. Looky there. They built them big, didn't they? That's... Azur Shal, a fortress meant to protect the northern reaches of Nabathrain. Seeing what was left behind, I believe it when they say it was say that it was once one of Norvern's mightiest nations. At least until the flood came along, great chunks of Nabathang Arang's lands were lost to light, its great city included. Those the few who survived didn't see much point in staying, most of them anyway. No, not many choose to come here these days. Not with everything in ruins, even that hulking great fortress has become little more than an Ar Amaro roost for me and my caravan. But not everywhere is as deserted as this place. Just wait until you see Mord Souk. Let's press on, shall we? Let's. I'm guessing that's Mord Souk. Got windmills. Oh, that's a, that's a giant uh, ribcage over there. Big skeleton. 